Hi, I'm Jared from SavingSavingCouple.net. I got an easy question for you. If you're going to cut down some limbs on your tree, would you rather use this pole saw or this pole saw? I don't know about you, but I'm going to go with this one right here. This is the Ryobi 18 volt cordless, cordless pole saw. This pole saw right here is powered. It's got a little chainsaw at the end over here. And it's going to make cutting down limbs off your trees a lot quicker and easier. It's going to equal less time looking up. That means less neck cramps and less fatigue. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the pole saw for the first time. We'll unbox it. We'll assemble it if any assembly is needed. And then we'll try it out and see how well it works.
I noticed when I was assembling it, after reading the manual, that I originally installed this strap backwards. So, actually, this red uh, quick release tab is supposed to be clipped to this side. Let's go ahead and fix that. there. So now let's take a look at the barn chain before we get going and we'll check the tension. So let's remove the bar cover. Here's our chain. It's got an 8 inch bar. This um, real B pole saw here is is made for cutting limbs six inches and smaller. So you shouldn't cut anything greater than six inches with it. And check the tape chain tension by gently pulling up on the chain and it seems just fine. So we're gonna leave that how it is and and also make sure that the bar is tight here. So we wouldn't want the, the chain tension uh, loosening up on us. This screw right here is what locks the bar into place. So if you want to adjust your, your tension, you loosen this up and you can move the bar in and out. And you can also get to the inside of the saw um, by removing this screw completely pulling off this cover and that's how you would change the chain or the bar or perform any maintenance inside here like cleaning. So. The battery that came with my saw is not yet charged but luckily this saw here uses the Ryobi One Plus battery system. So I just happen to have a few of these. I get another spare lithium 18 volt battery in my basement that was fully charged. So I'm gonna pop that right in there. Now I'm good to go. We can try her out and let's do some cutting. There. As you can see, it cut the limb really easily and quickly. And it left behind a nice clean cut stump. So, as you can see, the Ryobi 18 volt cordless pole saw does a great job of cutting down your tree limbs quickly and easily. I can now cut a lot more limbs in a shorter period of time with this pole saw in comparison to the manual pole saw that I have. This pole saw reaches nine and a half feet in length, so you can really reach a lot of high up limbs on your tree. You can get a lot done with this pole saw and it's easy to use. Keep in mind when you're using the saw, you should keep an eye on your bar oil reservoir window right here. 
the sauce getting low, you need to re refill the reservoir with oil. If if you don't, and the oil runs dry, you can damage your chain blade and your bar, which could also lead to damage to the, the saw's motor. And we don't want that. It's easy enough to just keep this reservoir filled. The shoulder strap came in really handy. It supports a good portion of the saw's weight, so it does help with fatigue and it helps you support the saw and keep it more stable while cutting. The Ryobi pull saw is also really well built. It feels stable when I'm using it and it doesn't feel flimsy. This extension pull here that I installed earlier, it can be removed. So what you're going to get there is a shorter saw. Um, and you can use that to reach lower branches but I think most of the time you're going to need the extension pole on there. So, that's about it. If you're in the market for a pole saw, I recommend that you check this one out. It's a really great bargain. You can find it at Home Depot or HomeDepot.com. Or check out Ryobi's website for more information on it. I'll also have a full written review up on SavvySavingCouple.net for you to check out where I'll list all the specs and all the things that I forgot to mention during this video. Also, if you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. I'm Jared from SavvySavingCouple.net. Thanks for watching.